I think it's important again to address the fact that I have a headband on, so I'm doing that right now. I did that last video, I'm doing it again right now. Let's talk about Dead by Daylight. Why? Because we got an extra survivor that we didn't expect. And the reason we should talk about it is because what the hell is next? We, we have this roadmap, they do year three, they had a year three roadmap, which they do pretty well and they're pretty good at sticking to, mm -hmm. uh, which I can respect. Um, but now we're at the end of this line, which is spring, right now, and we got a new killer, we got a new map, we got a new survivor, and we got another new survivor. Right. So now we're lost. So what's next? And I think mainly what we want to attack here is what's next for licensed killers. Because you know there's going to be more licensed killers. Right. I mean, obviously next, the real next confirmed is dedicated servers in by the end of summer on all platforms. Yeah, they need it. Right. And then the Switch release in the fall. Dedicated servers will be a, a pretty big game changer for Dead by Daylight. Mm -hmm. Like it was for consoles for Friday the 13th. Like it changes the game. You are able to play a much more stable game right. when you have a dedicated server. Right. So I'm I'm good. Yeah, it took it took forever, but it, good. Well, it does take forever. Yeah. They just, they had to upgrade their engine as well. Yeah. Um but then yeah, obviously we have the dedicated servers and then the Switch release in the fall. That's really all we know right now from Dead by Daylight. Yeah, pretty much. And, you know, you would think they're trying to ramp up to promote that Switch release. Um, right. So bring it with License Killer. And that's what they're good at that. You know, we've seen it. They're really good at taking License Killers. And even if they're – fundamentally, even if they're reskins, which they kind of are. Like Ash, at the end of the day, he is just a, a reskin. It's cool seeing him there. Leatherface. Leatherface, yeah. Like, you know, I've had a, I had a lot of fun playing as Ash. I, I really did. Like, I actually genuinely had fun sitting down and playing as Ash and just – going right and that was cool it was cool seeing him but again it fundamentally it, it's a reskin with some new perks and usually not too like ash's perks are eh, they're okay um mm -hmm. but again like you know it's cool seeing these horror icons i think what i'm i'm like starting i'm trying to buy into it like i'm tr like I've, I've been one to always be like stop fucking stop ruining my favorite killers my favorite movies and things like that but you know it's not, and I'm also. I've always been scared that a game like Dead by Daylight is going to take away from what could be their own game, but I don't think it would. Now that I'm looking at it like logically, like we've seen these killers licensed properly in other games like Mortal Kombat, and like like Jason's in Mortal Kombat, but it's not stopping and, Friday the Thirteenth the game. And a Terradrome, yeah, which is not technically legally licensed, but whatever. Uh, that's a little bit different. But like Mortal Kombat's a beautiful example. You yeah. have Jason, you have Leatherface, you have Freddy, and they're in this game. And I mean, then Predator and like, yeah. and you could they could still have their own games. Yeah. So I don't think that Dead by Daylight changes that. I think it, I think it's like the same thing. You're taking a, a skin really, and putting it into a game. Mm -hmm. But like, what's next? And what would work? And what would you even want to see in terms of licensed killers? The the, the one ah, man, I just couldn't see Ghostface. You know, I, <laughs> but then again, he's a reskin of um. Of the one we just got in yeah the team winter. killers yeah in winter I don't know why I'm zoning out their names uh, yeah it'd be it'd just be a reskin of that which uh, like I could physically see it but man that yeah, was part of the darkness among us chapter right yeah yeah um yeah I don't remember what their what their their names are but yeah it's it's part of the darkness among us chapter uh, where it had uh, a female and a male teen killer with a knife and a mask and right basically like, smiley. It actually it's like Happy Death Day kind of. It's a little bit of baby face, but not. Oh. It's like yeah, it's kind of like that. It's right. No, but again, Happy Death Day killer in Dead by Daylight would be a little would not be smart because it's not as huge as Ghostface is. Yeah, like you you're basically using it to push your game further, which right. is fine. That's that's how I mean, the fucking business. Shit, that's how it works. You know, that's totally right. fine. Um, but, like, what? I don't know. Okay, if you're going to do Ghostface, you do it as a chapter that comes with a map and a survivor. And if you are going to do that, what do you make the map and what do you make the survivor? What a school, you know, the thing about Dead by Daylight and its maps, it's usually very much open fields because you have to put people on hooks and, and buildings are pretty much isolated. But it showed when we saw the Saw map and being in like that mm -hmm. tight space like that, that it works. I think it's a lot of fun playing in that map. Yeah. yeah so, I agree. what are like, what about a high school? With Ghostface, and then don't let's not even let's not even touch Sydney. Let's not touch no. Dewey. Let's just put Casey. Put put Drew Barrymore. Oh, oh man! Like I don't see why that that I can as a Scream fan who was terrified to see this come to Dead by Daylight, I could live with that. I wonder because Scream season three is supposed to go back when it eventually comes out. 
someday. Yeah. It's supposed to go back to the original mask from the movie franchise. Right. Do we maybe we get Ghostface as we know him from the movies and then Scream season 3 and we get a Scream TV show um character as a survivor. That might yeah. be a little easier for them to do. I feel like they're more they're cheaper to get likeness and deals and stuff like that. Right. As opposed to Nev Campbell. Skeet, maybe Skeet, but would you really want to play as Billy, <laughs> Billy Loomis as a survivor? No, no, you wouldn't want to. Right. But, okay, one of the things that people have been, like, requesting and, and damn near demanding for a long time is to have a two-killer format, a, a different game mode that's two killers and four survivors still. Why not have Scream be the one to introduce that? And it is Matt and and Skeet. It is Billy and Stu. And, it, and, and Again, likeness is just tough to get with those big stars. Yeah, Skeet's a bit of a bitch to get now because of Riverdale. Right, and Matt is just on top uh, of the man, world. Matt, Matt would do I feel it. Like, I feel like it's weird because he's he's big. He is a big star, but I still feel like he is more accessible. Know, Matt, 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 here's the thing. Everything, the thing that people know for Matt is there's two things, and it, it's it's Shaggy and it's Stu, usually. I mean, you, you got, um, uh, why am I zoning out the movie, the punk one, uh, Damn it, dude! Where he's at the blue, the the blue mohawk. Oh my oh. god! Everyone's gonna hate me because that is like a fucking Matthew Lillard moment. But all right, listen. I know I forgot. I'm being. It's just it, I'm tired. <laughs> That's my excuse. But yeah, like that one of his one of his best movies. And but now, right now, he's not he's not acting on screen too often. He's voicing Shaggy, which now he just got replaced, which is fucking stupid. But I, I think he'd do it. Nev, absolutely not. No, mm-mm, not House a chance. of Cards money, man. Netflix money. Yeah, you know, it's. I think Casey makes the most sense. Especially, they're not even gonna try. I don't even think they'll try to get the likeness Probably of any not. of them. Not if they were going to do a Sydney, which I don't know if they'd get the character. But, Sydney I mean, like, look at look at Quentin from Nightmare on Elm Street. You could have fucking gotten him, and you didn't because you don't care. <laughs> yeah, so, no, a Casey type character, just a blonde, short, nine, just nineties hair, nineties yeah, exactly. clothes. Yeah, if you can't get likenesses. Just do one of a character that's not going to hurt our feelings when you do that. Like I'm not, I'm not super into Dead by Daylight, but I do remember maybe a month ago there was like some '90s event going on. I'm not sure. I sent, I sent, uh, I sent you guys a picture in the group chat. Oh yeah, I know. Some, yeah. I don't know if it was an event, if it was clothing or whatever. I think there was clothing. I'm not sure, but that'd be interesting. Just yeah. a straight up '90s feel. I mean, again, now you're taking a little bit from last year, the last nightmare, year, right? But. Who, who's who's going to do it better? Right. If we're looking at last year right now and we're looking at Dead by Daylight. Right now. Yeah. I, well, last year's in a tough spot. They're in a real tough spot. They just got to they just gotta release the progression system and got to release their first set of DLC before we can really know what they're all about and know what they're capable of. We don't have that right now, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I always thought like one of the things that was holding Dead by Daylight back was the repetitive format. And, and that's doing it's doing the same thing that last year, but even more limited. Right. You're even more limited than last year. And yeah, it, that makes that it's hard to 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 say which one is going to work better for certain platforms when you have you literally yeah, don't even know what they're capable of yet. Right. So yeah, I I you know as a screen fan and someone that I could I could lay aside my differences and I could I could see a Scream DLC actually legitimately working in Dead by Daylight. You just gotta you you, you can't fuck don't just don't just throw a skin in there of Ghostface as a killer. Don't do that. Like, do a real chapter, do a real map, and look, get a sort of get do Casey as survivor. I think because you're we, me and you both know we're not getting they're not getting the likeness to any of those right. characters. Not even gonna try. It, like the thing is, like when we got did Leatherface come with a map? No, he was by himself. That's a cash grab, man. Just a skin adds nothing to the game except hey, I'm Leatherface. It's just fun. That's that's when we all call cash grab. Yeah. We called cash grab. Yeah, well, like, Ash is the same way. I mean, Ash is just a survivor, nothing else. Right. But at the very least, they, they tried. They fucking tried. With, with Ash. Him. Yeah, they brought in Bruce. And, right. And you know Bruce... Listen, I can't imagine Bruce took a small paycheck there. It's, it's Bruce Campbell. Right. And I'm not being I'm not saying he's a money-grubbing douchebag. What I'm saying is the guy's worth some money. R- right. <laughs> That's right. So at least they tried with Bruce Campbell. But, like, if you literally just, like, all right, here's Ghostface, skin only, that's it. St- it adds nothing except I'm um, Ghostface. That's just when everyone will call cash grab, and that's very valid. Yeah, you know, and then he could have a – imagine his perks. Imagine Ghostface's perks. Mm-hmm. What if there was, like, a perk where once a game he's able to call 
all the survivors. Oh. And then you can you could spotlight them, and then they even they can become your obsession and things like that. Like if whoever's mm-hmm. closest to you, they have to answer the phone. They become your obsession. Things things like that. It, there's a lot of things you can run with in terms of ghost face and perks. And then if you could bring in Roger Jackson and have him voice some lines. I know you won't say them in game for some fucking reason. They're not doing that. Right. They should. No, that'd be yeah, that'd be interesting. If you're gonna if you're gonna do something like Ghostface, you just gotta do it right. Yeah. Just just don't yeah, don't be lazy with it. I don't think anyone else I'm not gonna be offended. Right. Um, as for other killers, you know, people talk Pennywise. People talk Jason. Don't. I don't think that's a good idea. Just don't don't even bring the fucking controversy. Uh, uh, here's the thing. Like, realistically, you gotta look I'm not saying this as an F thirteen fanboy or an F thirteen the game fanboy. They, Jason will never be in Dead by Daylight. Never. Never. Ever. I don't know. They, he they, has his own game. But they, they do it. I bet they do it. He's in one combat right now. How many years out? I don't know. Now. <laughs> no. No. Three years down the line, maybe. But he has his own game right now that is selling on the shelves. He's The, the, thing, the thing is, if Dead by Daylight did Jason, they would go for the remake, which we know is tricky. We know that New Line's going to be very... Distinct about that, right? If 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 but they they gave Freddy, they gave Freddy. They wouldn't give Friday the Thirteenth a game. Their Jasons. Maybe there was some very personal thing about that. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we don't know. Yeah, but like, but I know. just don't see. I just don't see in the next three years Jason ever being a thought of coming to Dead by Daylight. Hmm. That that's just look at what's going on right now. Like realistically with. Friday the Thirteenth, the game, his own game. Yeah. I don't think if if Sean Cunningham has any say at all, no, he'll say no. If he has any say at all, he'll say no. Maybe, well, I don't even think he would have say. Not for a remake one. I think that'd be out of his hand, right? I mean, I'm not sure. Well, well, obviously because he couldn't get it in in Friday the Thirteenth, the game. Right. So yeah, the remakes would be out of his hand again if it's something personal. Uh, the reason they couldn't get an F thirteen the game, maybe they they could get in uh, Dead by Daylight, but yeah, it's I, it's it's also be hard to market because yeah. you're like, oh yeah, Jason's coming to Dead by Daylight, and it's like, oh, I could just play Friday the Thirteenth the game because I like Friday the Thirteenth more, you know, right? Something like that. That's True. it's tough to market with when you have a competing product, and yes, Friday the Thirteenth game is still very much competing with Dead by Daylight. Yeah, at least in, in terms of consoles. Yes, on consoles. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, yeah, on consoles, PC, obviously, you go look at the Steam, uh, the Steam database, Steam yeah. database player count. Don't pull that. We know <laughs> we've seen it before, but consoles is very much well a a big competitor. Yeah, and especially beating them to Switch too. That's a big. Well, yeah. At, right now, they're supposed to beat them to Switch. F thirteen is supposed to come in spring. Debit is supposed to come in fall. Yeah. So I yeah you know realistically you would you would hope that they stick to that <laughs> right. Um. Like you said earlier, Pennywise. I don't know, man. We I, have we have. I think killers that are monsters work a lot better. Uh, seriously, I think an alien an alien chapter makes complete fucking sense to me. I think a xenomorph killer would be dope. I think Ripley as survivor would be dope. I think a spaceship map would be dope. Disney's Disney's looking to reboot the franchise. Oh, Disney though. Oh yeah, that's a little bit. Of- They'd probably want to just make their own game, right? I don't know. And there is already an Alien game that does kind of play into that a little bit. Alien Blackout on mobile last year. <laughs> well, I mean, what about like uh, what about like Predator? You know, I don't know if Predator would do. I mean, I'm well, the same like, thing. What do you have like Arnold Schwarzenegger come in and? No. That'd be dope. <laughs> it, compare well, compare Bruce Campbell to Arnold Schwarzenegger. I There's mean, a gap. No, the yeah, A list. Well, he's like A minus list. Bruce Campbell. Yeah. Bruce Campbell's A minus list and and <laughs> and uh and Arnold Schwarzenegger's A list. Maybe. Maybe they could get Schwarzenegger. They could definitely get Carl Weathers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Carl Weathers does everything, man. <laughs> Carl Weathers does everything. Yeah. I mean but I actually think like other monsters like like Wolfman and I don't know about Frankenstein, shit like that, but Wolfman that totally makes sense to me. I don't know Wolf why they Man. actually haven't pursued something along those lines. The Wolfman. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be a little bit more like deceit. Yeah. Too, but like, again, where's what's the seat doing? Yeah, they're not. I doubt they're actively looking for license oh, Wolfman. No 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 no. no, 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 they're not. No, they're not. But yeah, Wolf Wolfman would be would be interesting in Dead by Daylight. A little faster, Slenderman. 
succubus. I wouldn't want to <laughs> see it, but I could see how it could fit. Yeah, yeah, you could do you could take urban legend like type of characters. Even if you want to talk about Candyman, that could technically a hooked band killer. What seriously though? What about Nine Only the Last Summer kill pack? All right, our chapter. And we get we get the the fisherman, and we get Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, no, fuck that. Let's get Ray. Let's get yeah. Freddie Prince Jr. from I still know in his black Dave. wife beater. Yeah, just perfect. And then you're at Southport <laughs> or the map, like on a boat dock. <laughs> That'd be interesting, like it, like a truly abandoned boat dock area yeah you have you have your little dock area down here and you got some buildings up here and yeah no that'd be interesting well I, i'm I'm surprised yeah fisherman from i i know what you did last summer franchise i'm surprised that's not implemented the really fuck even has Hi, a license hide or die has a fisherman killer it's not yeah who has the license to it's mandalay which who owns mandalay mm, i'm not sure off the top of my head but yeah like hide or die has a fisherman character yeah um, but that's but it. it's not a license. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It look exactly the same though. Just hey, yeah, the, yeah. the slicker hook. Yeah, I mean, maybe you go. I still die, know they have like the shooter gun thing. Like the sh- you shoot a hook and like roll them in. Oh, uh, the like, the harpoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You could go. I still know and have the hook as the hand. Well, yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, okay. Candyman the same way though with the hook as a hand. Right. This conversation could go on forever. Yeah, you know, there's a million things that Debo Daily could do, and like, like I said, I like I, I'm like trying to buy in as as much as I can to licensed killers, and like if they're gonna do it, as long as they're trying, I don't really care. At this point, I don't care. There was a point where it drove me fucking nuts, and, and you know, even the last time I talked about it with about Ash when I did that my honest thoughts video, mm-hmm. like I wasn't mad, and that was the one thing that I think people were kind of missing, like as if I'm like. Somebody was like, dude, chill the fuck out, relax. Like, what? it's just a game. I was like, dude, I was so calm in that video. I was so calm. And even at the end, I say, there are people that love this. There are people that are pissed about this. I'm not either of those. I'm not pissed. I just think it's weird. But like, I'm. And you did. And this was before it came out. Yeah. And you said you didn't know how it would work. Yeah. And, and it, now that I, you've played it. Yeah. I think it works really well. I think that. When they explain backstories, when they do it really well, it totally works. Like, the way they explain Ash's backstory was some fucking Army of Darkness shit, and it made complete sense to me. I was like, yeah, totally. He could totally fucking fit in that world, and I think it makes sense. So, like, even even when you see him, you see uh, Ash sitting by the campfire with the other with the other survivors at, like, the loading screen, you know? Yeah. Like, it makes sense to me, and he's sitting there, you know, wiping down his hand and things. Like, I think... I yeah I haven't played it yet I haven't played as Ash I haven't played since well since that last chapter in January yeah. I can tell you that like I genuinely want to get into the game more yeah. I I want to because I like I like playing I usually can have fun for a little bit and then I especially as a killer I get just pissed off and I get sick of it because I'm getting wrecked because I suck like I want to get better and I want to really especially I really want to evolve as a survivor and get that down and prestige all my characters and. Just, I want to run with that more and expand on it. And I, and if our audience can buy into it, I'm totally cool with covering it. And, and dedicated servers add a lot to our ex- user experience as well. Yeah, you know, when you when you're so used to dedicated servers, then you go to a game that's not, and you're on peer to peer again, and then you're like constantly lagging. You're struggling mm. to find people, especially when you are a killer and trying to find other people joining your games from peer to peer. Yeah, it could be a bitch. It could be a, a real pain. So I think dedicated servers are going to be a game changer all around. Yeah. For so. sure, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to get back into it. I'm gonna try. I just recommend running Survivor. You know, yeah. just, just get to the killer life later. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I'd ever play killer. I've nah. just seen so many different ways to just get trolled, and I know I'm gonna fall into one of those until I get really good, which could take never <laughs> a couple years. I mean, people, we're playing with people that have years on on us, which is yeah. So like, we're trying is, to get better. <laughs> yeah, it's like how much how many hours we put into things like f13 and like really understanding how to run things it's like that's what these people are doing in dead by daylight and it's hard to just jump in and expect to take those people down right uh gotta learn gotta get good yeah like that's the thing i've never been able i get so pissed off mainly because i always i was playing as killer so much and i can have fun but i always find myself really just more anxious like i feel like i'm just constantly battling and i i like instead of being exciting and suspenseful i just feel like I'm just getting more and more mad and pissed at myself for not being able to fucking accomplish right. anything. As survivors, you know, it was I was, it's suspenseful. You're and you don't care if you really lose. 
No. I don't, I, that's how I always feel as a survivor in, in F-13, too. I don't really care if I lose, and I think that adds to it. As a killer, you care. You feel like a bitch. It's like, ah, I didn't get anybody. I suck. Yeah. <laughs> and then they teabag you. Yeah. And, you know, it's very easy for multiple games to coexist and different fan bases to coexist. Like, I guarantee there's going to be comments in here that says, holy fuck, I hate Dead by Daylight so much it sucks really bad. It's one of the things as a content creator, you know, you want to do what you love and cover what yeah. you love. Uh, and luckily enough, we love F-13 so much that I had no, I have zero issue covering it so mm-hmm. consistently. Because it's, I'm just excited as the people who are watching the videos on it. Mm-hmm. And that's, but like, I like Dead by Daylight too, and I wouldn't, I have no issue covering it, but it seems like anytime we do, it, it's just like. It's a, it's a, it's a fight. It's a war in the yeah. comments, and we don't want that. We just, Dead by Daylight fan, if you, if you hate Dead by Daylight and you like us, hopefully you can get through this video. Maybe you skip this video. Well, that's, that's the thing. Just skip it, bro. You don't need yeah. to like. Just like unsub and like fucking hate everything because right. we covered it by daylight once every like week, right? You know, we post seven times a fucking week. At least that's what we try to do, and maybe not last week, but like yeah, we just post seven times a week, and a lot of that is F thirteen or just horror related things in general. And one of the things you can't, as Dead by Daylight keep, continues to expand and add more and more licensed characters as a horror channel, how am I supposed to ignore that as the things that I cover normally are making their way into this game? I'm just saying. That's kind of my thought. That's why I'm buying it. And I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts. Uh, what do you think is coming next? Who do you think is next for Dead by Daylight? Uh, there's plenty of original characters. The reason we didn't talk about that is simply because their creativity is a lot better than ours. They've shown they have mm-hmm. the the talent to yeah. bring in original characters and make it work. I actually think the most recent chapter is, is badass. The trailer for it was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, like they, they don't need suggestions on that. I'm just curious where the license route's going. Yeah. All right, that's the wrap of today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And, of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.